This is the solution to written homework 38. Okay, so for part A, the total value of the money flow is integral 0 uh, to 10, and then the money flow. So that's 400,000 uh, exponential that thing, so exponential 0.055t dt. Okay, well that's something we can integrate directly. So that is 400,000 exponential 0.055t and then divided by 0.055 evaluated from 0 to 10. Okay, well that's something that we can just plug in more or less. So 400,000 over 0 0.055 times exponential of 0 0.055 times 10. subtraction minus uh, 1 okay so then the answer is how much is that five million three hundred thirty two thousand seven hundred forty nine To one, and therefore rounded to the nearest cent. That's five million three hundred thirty-two thousand seven hundred forty-nine and twenty-two cents. <coughs> okay, so for part B, the present value of the money flow. That is. Uh, we're going to take all of this money, this is how much money you'd have at the end, and we're going to take all those bits of money and transport them to the very beginning from where they were obtained and see what the value is. So in this case, uh, it's integral 0 to 10, <coughs> and then now exponential negative the interest rate, 0.075t and then multiplied by the flow 400,000 exponential 0.055t <coughs> dt. So this factor right here is what transports uh, the money as it's obtained back to the present. Well, this uh, expression can actually be simplified a little bit. So we could factor out the 400,000. 400,000, and then integral 0 to 10. And then we can combine these two by adding exponents. So that would be uh, exponential of negative 0 0.02. Zero. I'll put that extra zero there just so it's a little easier to understand. dt. And then this is something that we can um, integrate directly. <coughs> so this would be uh, what? So 400,000 <coughs> exponential negative 0 0.020t divided by negative 0 0.020 and then from 0 to 10 <coughs> plugging that in there so that would be 400,000 <coughs> uh, divided by negative 0 0.020 times 
exponential negative 0 0.020 times 10 and then minus 1 because that's the exponential of 0 <coughs> so doing that that's uh, 3 million 625,384.938. And then rounding that to the nearest cent, that's 3,625,384.94 cents. Okay, so that's the present value. See the future value. <coughs> well, this will be exponential of 0 0.075, the interest rate, times the end time, 10, and then integral 0 to 10 of exponential negative 0 0.075 little t times 400,000 exponential 0 0.055 t dt. Well, this value right here, that's something that we computed in part b. That is to say that the answer is exponential 0 0.075 5 times 10 times uh, that number 3,625,384.938 so plugging all of that in exponential 0.075 times 10 times all that stuff <coughs> yields 7,674,000 uh, 639.975 and therefore rounded to the nearest cent <coughs> Uh, that would be seven million six hundred seventy four thousand nine hundred thirty nine and ninety eight cents. So the answers are uh, this five million number, this three million number, and this seven.